Hello and welcome to sim.pc So uh, that sound in the beginning, that's happening and the sound right now, trying out some new things Well, we'll just see if it sticks uh, I've just realized that the movie actually has have a, a audio library that you can choose from so that it doesn't have to be all silent with the mic just me when I speak when I don't and when I speak low that you can still hear me. But I've seen the feedback, the short feedback provided by one comment, <laughs> which I quote quote quote, and a couple of friends that I've shown this video, not this video, but like the videos I've made too. And it's all about my pronunciation, pronunciation of words and not speaking too opposite to loudly and uh, not speaking too quietly, I would say. Well, so my big challenge today was getting rid of my friend so that I could actually schedule in this recording without feeling like I was being watched all the time and being judged all the time, <laughs> uh, which was actually, actually easier done than said. And sometimes you just have to, uh, to value honesty and I just said that. Basically, I need to have this time to, to vlog. Uh, I want to make a 10 video, 10 minute raw video. It's going to take 15 minutes tops. Then I'm going to edit it and all that. But then it can be inside the room, so he's basically just standing outside the door. <laughs> I think, or hopefully he's gone down or tried to move it around since it's his first day in Bordeaux, in the city, and in this building overall. Uh, so I hope he's doing something creative with his time. But otherwise, there is a risk that he's just actually standing outside. So that's how I did. Well, <laughs> what I was going to talk about today otherwise is it's Wednesday, dysfunctional groups. Now, I've just started a brilliant new, a brilliant new, well, I wouldn't say brilliant, but a new, um, new video format that is going to be highly edited in my regards, uh, like according to my standard, it's going to be. Keep in mind my technical and uh, time restraint, M both my technical expertise isn't enough and my time restraint in making videos is still a thing but I'm going to try and produce a topic video which is going to highlight the topic and that's going to be dysfunctional groups. Uh, probably launch it with the 10th video I make, uh, I hope so at least, would be kind of a nice milestone to, uh, to get done. This is the fifth video actually, uh, actually and I have already made more videos than I thought I would ever do on YouTube, um, 2017 at least, <laughs> since I have certainly some inconsistent upload schedule based videos a couple of years back under a different name that no one should know about, <laughs> but there it is. Well, but yesterday was all about getting to know this, uh, get, getting to know the topic, you know, trying to find some background, trying to make a script, trying to figure out what will be shown in the video and when, how will I convey a personal touch to all of the information gathered, uh, how will I make it stand out and not just be like a regular, like a regular paper that you write in school that's fairly boring I would say, <laughs> uh, so that I don't just read off a paper, but simultaneously I want to bring the, uh, the actual factual part of uh, of, an, of a report to the conversation. So what is a dysfunctional group from the perspective of uh, as I've started to uh, get through, I'm going to see if I can find the script here, Patrick Lyonson. Oh, my pronunciation is whack, but he has basically a five-step model, just to put it briefly, and I've tried to get in, getting into that while simultaneously trying to make it entertaining, which is a hard thing to do, admittedly, and I will probably need to work on this script for a couple of more days before before it's ready, and then I need to start recording it and edit it. Well, anyway, so what is a dysfunctional group? Just to give you a little slowdown on how it fits into my perspective. Well, an opposite, a very good opposite example, an anti-example, if you will, of a dysfunctional group is me and my friend. We have a very good relationship. I can just tell him that. Hey, I want this time alone in order to make this video happen. Could you please go out? And that honesty and trust 
actually built a really good commitment and relationship. And if we were to be working, uh, that's something that I would try to strive to keep. Because, uh, and I have actually told him that I'm making my, my startup and offered him not a position perhaps, but a consultant position to, to me that's going to be a consultant. That's like a, that's a thing. <laughs> but you know, I don't know everything as you know by now, if you watched since my, as I keep telling my technical experiences is whack and my, uh, well, my business experience is limited, to say the least. That's why I started. Anyway, that's a good anti-example of a dysfunctional group, a group where trust and fear of commitment is not an issue. However, it becomes an issue when you don't trust your employees, when you perhaps feel threatened by them. That will create internal competence, like uh, internal competitiveness, sorry, not competence, even though you might develop your own competencies, <laughs> but it will create a, an internal struggle and an internal competitiveness that is ultimately going to work against the maximum performance of the company or of the team or of the challenge. So that is basically what a dysfunctional group is. That's what I wanted to kind of touch upon today, and now I've done it, and I think it's up to a five, as you can see. It's in the middle of the day, and I just woke up, so I still got everything in my head. Well, what did I do yesterday, otherwise? Yesterday, as I said, I was working on the script. I picked up my friend at the airport, and he was so... How, how should I put this gently? The car sick? That would you say when you like sit in the bus and uh, he, he'd been on the plane first and foremost and you don't like planes you don't like to ride them you don't like to be up there you don't like any of the experience so first there he was really kind of pissed to put it gently and then we walked into this bus that was driving very inconsistently with braking and torquing and braking and torque and braking torque and braking torque and, and, and there were lots of people there were low oxygen levels and we almost passed out in the bus, not literally passing out, but mentally passing out, <laughs> while our bodies are still in the bus. So that was a thing that we did, and then we walked all the way here, I introduced him to a couple of things in the city, I, we put off his mattress in this room, and then all the conversation started that we haven't seen each other since the beginning of summer, and now it's the end of summer, so that's two, three months when he has been working, we discussed the startup. Since he's been working as a manager at an amusement field, he delegated lots of that experience to me and told me that basically they're doing this and this, you can implement this in your company like that, this is how you probably would like to, re to register your company. And that's also a thing that we did. I tried to register my company as a sole enterprise so that I am the only one financially responsible which is kind of scary, as I said before. Uh, but that's that happened, kind of. I sent in a motion, but I didn't really get all of the technicalities and all of the all of the legal requirements in the texts. So today I'm going to try and call them and just explain my situation. Say that I I want to make a startup. I don't. I'm not sure really if I correct like did all the steps correctly. But I, I wish to make a company, I wish to make money, even though I won't, probably won't make any money because I put that in the uh, in the uh, preliminary, like how much money do you estimate you will earn this year? And I put in zero. So all my taxes, zero. All my pensions, zero. All my, all my employees that are none at the moment, zero, because they won't get any salary even if there were some. So my... <laughs> My motion probably looks pretty pretty funny that all of the things is zero, 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 zero. No, 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 no. Do you want to make a company? Yes, I want to make a company. <laughs> but that was, a big, no, like, that was a big step, even though it might have felt a bit unprofessionally, a bit unprofessional when I did it, it was still a very, a very good experience to have to try and uh, Google and read up on all of the things that I didn't get. Now I think I got a good 50 to 75 percent of the things I didn't know beforehand. So basically of all the new information presented to me I think I got 50 to 75 percent of it after like five hours spent on Google and definition searching. Well and that's pretty much it. Just 
riding the wave now. And I figured out how to do on my website when I make an update how to add a picture. So I'm pretty happy and I'm going to make a blog post tonight, I think, or tomorrow or sometime when I have a chance. So thank you all for watching again. This is my fifth video and I'm pretty happy about it. So see ya. Let's make it 10. Ooh.